Hello, I'm Viviane Rocha. I'm a cardiologist at the Lipid Clinic of the Heart Institute, University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm here to talk to you about some therapeutic options to treat hypertriglyceridemia. First, we always need to consider lifestyle measures. Weight loss, regular exercise, reduction in alcohol intake, and dietary changes can all be very important and are main pillars in the management of hypertriglyceridemia. But there are also several existing therapeutic options like statins and fibrates. In individuals with non-hypertriglyceridemia indications, statins can reduce triglyceride levels in 10 to 30%. Fibrates can also reduce substantially triglyceride levels by as much as 25 to 50%. Omega-3 fatty acids like EPA and DHA can also reduce triglyceride levels. However, a combination of several studies demonstrated a lack of efficacy of EPA and DHA to reduce cardiovascular events in patients with high risk. However, in the reduced trial, Icosapent ethyl made from purified EPA was able to reduce cardiovascular events. Alongside these options, there are several novel agents that are currently in development to treat patients with hypertriglyceridemia. Among these, there are therapies that target APOC3 and NGPTL3 that are two proteins involved in metabolism of fat. Several genetic studies have demonstrated that having less APOC3 and NGPTL3 through genetic deficiencies actually lead to less triglyceride levels in the blood. Because of this, therapies that reduce or inhibit the production of these proteins have been explored. Some NGPTL3 inhibitors, like Evinacumab, are already approved by the FDA in the US to treat homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. But there are others, like Zodaziran and Zobinziran, that are still in early stage development. These new therapies are being explored as potential solutions to the unmet need for treatment and management of severe hypertriglyceridemia.